tireless research and unwavering passion are trademarks of those at the forefront of discovery. The Lone Star State is home to many of the best and brightest professionals who have dedicated themselves to innovation at the highest level. Tonight, the Academy of Medicine, Engineering, and Science of Texas honors four such forward-thinking innovators with the 2012 Edith and Peter O'Donnell Awards. Michael Deem, Engineering. Mathematical equations are nothing new to Dr. Michael Deem, but this one is fighting an illness that affects millions of people every year. A bioengineer at Rice University in Houston, Michael has devised an intricate equation that can predict which flu strains will be dominant in the coming season. Quickly identifying these strains can lead to stronger and more effective vaccines. We can detect that months to years in advance of when it really permeates through the population. So we can do somewhat better than the current World Health Organization approach. It often takes several months of testing to find the dominant flu strain. But by using Michael's method of assigning numerical scores to virus mutations, finding the dominant strain is much faster. And this is actually an example of a new H3N2 strain that came out in 2009. And we found it about four months before the WHO and CDC were able to find it. Michael is working with the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization in identifying these emerging strains much sooner than ever before. Early detection can ultimately save lives. The vaccine we'll get in October, they design it in February or so. So we want to predict in February what are the strains that will be circulating around and might infect us in October. The mathematics that Michael has developed to describe evolution of structure is being described by some as a new law of biology. We wanted to find Newton's laws for biology. We wanted to find an example of F equals MA for biology. Michael's equation describes the relationship between a system's structural complexity, or modularity, M prime, and its ability to thrive, R, in the face of environmental stress, PE. It struck a lot of people as a really wacky idea. Right? Are there fundamental laws of biology? Is there a Newton's laws or a Maxwell's laws? There's some underlying principles in that they could be mathematized. That was really the issue. Michael is also testing whether his proposed law of biology can predict when critically ill patients are about to take a turn for the worse. In a preliminary study, he and other researchers identified a subtle signal within EKG data that can predict when a heart attack is likely to happen. Michael plans to use this technique to create software for patient-specific health forecasts. He had a fundamental insight that forces cause a mathematically quantifiable change in the organization of the system. So I think Michael has made a fantastic, a wonderful contribution to science. These are really new areas, and this is something that you know, I think Rice really is encouraging these days, is this interaction between what we can do here at Rice and you know, what people over in the medical center can do, and then what can we do when we work together.